Good afternoon, guys. Yeah, there was quite a crowd gathered on the altar here a very short time ago at the Good Hope Free Will Baptist Church in Garfield Park. Some of the speakers, most of the speakers, understandably, fired up. You cannot continue to get money for your election campaign yeah. from the NRA and then become witnesses for them and not representatives of the people that elected you. Father Michael Flager, among many faith leaders who spoke, each calling for the same thing. The passing of House Bill 5855, urging lawmakers to vote yes when it comes to the Protect Illinois Communities Act, put forth by State Representative Bob Morgan. The act would do a number of things, including banning the sale or purchase of assault-style weapons and high-capacity magazines. It would also raise, for example, the minimum age to purchase a firearm to 21. The event today happening right down the street from where 14 people were shot in Garfield Park during a drive-by on Halloween whilst attending a vigil for a loved one. Most of those people were members of the same family. Among those gathered here today was Rabbi Ike Serata from Highland Park who lost a constituent in the July 4th attack. This is personal, but saving life is something that's imperative for every one of us here. We've all been touched by it personally. It's the people that want it to get passed. As you witness today, there's many clergy, many stakeholders from this community throughout the entire Illinois have come together, standing, saying, speaking the same language, saying the same thing. So now it's in their hands. We're doing our job. We're doing our due diligence. Now it's up to them to do the rest. Now, legislators are returning to the Capitol today for the lame duck session. As of right now, there is no hearing scheduled to vote on this bill, but we'll keep you posted. We're live in Garfield Park, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.